Hello again, everyone, and welcome to Coffee Break Q&A. My name is Michael Moret. Coffee Break Q&A is your opportunity to ask your Bible questions. I'll give you the email address at the end of the broadcast where you can send your Bible questions. Please keep them Bible-related. I'll do my best to give you a Bible answer. We have a question today from a listener. A man who wants to know what a Christian's attitude should be toward this present crisis, and he's talking about the coronavirus. What should a Christian's attitude be? Well, I think our attitude as Christians should be one of faith, one of trusting in Christ, and one of an eternal perspective. Let me begin the answer by reading the words of Jesus himself. In John chapter 14, beginning in verse 1, Jesus said this to his followers, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. You know, this virus is a reminder that death is real. And that oftentimes, re in reality, we do not have control of our death. And we may think that we are secure and that we're going to live a long time, but you never know. You never know. And even though this virus isn't nearly as bad as a lot of plagues that have hit the human race over the years, it still is a reminder that life is fragile. And as Christians, we should have an eternal perspective. That's what Jesus is saying in the words that I read. He's saying, don't let your heart be troubled. Just don't lose sight of me. And don't let your heart be troubled. Don't be afraid simply because of the things that might happen to you here on this earth. And that would include death. Keep an eternal perspective. Keep your eyes on me. Keep your thoughts on me. Remember that when your life on earth is done, I'll be there for you. I'll still be your Lord. I'll still be your Savior. I'll still be your God. I'll still be with you. He's promised never to leave us nor forsake us. And that includes the moment that we die. So as a Christian, you have God's promise. You have Jesus' promise that when you die, he'll be there for you. And he'll take you to that place that he has prepared for you. And later on, you'll have a resurrected body. You'll live on the new earth. Keep your focus on Jesus and eternity. And don't be afraid. So, as Christians, we can think about those wonderful things. But also, don't miss this opportunity to be used by God to tell the lost, who are cl totally clueless concerning eternity, that there's hope in Christ and only in Christ. You know, the lost world, they don't want to think about death. They try to cover it up. They try to distract their thoughts away from death. And that's why so many of them get totally consumed with entertainment or sports or things like that. There's nothing wrong with entertainment. There's nothing wrong with sports as long as it doesn't go against the Word of God. But when it consumes a person's thought, when it's there as a diversion from death and eternity, then it becomes a problem. Bad things happen in this sinful world, sometimes as a direct result of personal sin, sometimes as in the case of the coronavirus, because of the sin principle that entered into the world when Adam and Eve rebelled against God. And we've had plagues, and we've had weather disasters, and we've had earthquakes, and we've had all sorts of problems, including death, because of sin that has entered into God's creation and basically ruined it. But don't waste this opportunity to tell people that there is hope beyond the grave through Jesus Christ. You know, 60 million people die every year. So death is not anything new. But times like these make it very difficult for people to run away from the thought of death. It's there. It's in their face. And this is an opportunity for Christians to say what Jesus said. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And unless you believe in me, Jesus said, you will die in your sins. It's time to repent. It's time to receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and prepare for your death whenever it might come.
and through whatever means it may come. If you have a question for me, send it to scriptureversebyverse at gmail.com.